This is a video to show the prototype for a transistor tracer that I'm working on. So I've laid out a prototype here and it's uh, basically based on uh, the STM32, the uh, blue pill. And what that does, it controls a DAC to supply voltages to an op amp which then drives the voltage to the transistor to the base of the transistor and the collector for the transistor. I've got here you can see it's a 2N222 transistor there and what that's doing that's allowing me to drive up to 100 milliamps uh, into the transistor under test. So I've got all my pins broken out here to insert the transistor here. This is a Arduino Nano which I used to originally prototype it but I'm not using that anymore. I've moved away from that because of uh, memory and speed limitations so I'm using the blue pill which works uh, a lot better. So the first thing we have to do to use this is we have to pick a transistor so right here I've got a transistor which is a 2N4401 so the first thing we have to do is figure out uh, the pinout for the transistor. Here's the data sheet for the uh, 2N4401 transistor and here we're showing the pinout. We're showing pin 3 is the collector, pin 1 is the emitter. So if I hold the transistor with the flat side up as the diagram shows the collector is at the bottom pin and the emitter is at the top. So now we take the transistor and we insert it into the test jig. So uh, it just so happens I've got my test jig wired up uh, such that the emitter I've got it wired up so the emitter is here the base is here and the collector is here so I've got some probes that are going to be feeding voltages and uh, measuring um, the voltages that's, um, and currents that's coming out of the uh, transistor. Currently I control the STM32 through a uh, command line interface, a CLI. I don't have a, um, a screen connected to an LCD screen so it's a manual a process to get the data and then you put the data in Excel to do the plot of the uh, transistor curve. So with, with the CLI there's a help command and uh, basically I've uh, automated it so you type in one command and it generates uh, it figures out all the minimum and maximum currents and then it generates the uh, data. So there it is generating the data that's going to go into uh, Excel for the plot and if you come up to where it starts you'll see here it's uh, measuring the maximum voltages and the minimum and maximum IB for the uh, plot so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this data and then I open up uh, I'm using uh, open office instead of Excel on this computer and we just paste the data in and there's the plot there so it's showing the base currents for the various traces and it's showing the uh, the curve the profile for that transistor so right now it's a bit of a manual approach uh, again I'm just trying to get the prototype to get it working so it's now working for PNP transistors for a sorry NPN transistors I now need to uh, switch over and get it working for PNP and uh, MOSFETs N channel and P channel uh, MOSFETs and once that's done then I will connect this to a uh, LCD and uh, we'll be able to generate these plots on the uh, LCD this is showing the prototype that I built for the transistor uh, tracer and uh, at the heart of it it's showing the blue pill which is based on the STM32 uh, uh, microcontroller 
and uh, that's connected to my PC and I'm using a CLI command line interface to, to currently control the blue pill. Later on I'll be connecting this to an LCD and have uh, like maybe a rotary encoder and a few push buttons to control it. But right now you're typing in commands, it generates a trace and uh, we capture the trace on the PC and plot it in Excel. So the way this works is that uh, the blue pill is connected to a DAC, a two-channel DAC, uh, uh, using SPI. And that uh, DAC uh, generates uh, voltages from 0 to 3.3 volts. And uh, so what I've got here, I've got an op amp, uh, which is doing a, a, multi, a amplification. So it's generating, taking that 3.3 volts and bringing it up from to 0 to 12 volts. Problem is here, this is very low current, doesn't have a lot of current. So um, in the case of the current that's going to be feeding the collector, I feed it to a 2N222, uh, which is connected to 12 volts, and I get the 0 0.7 volt drop across here, which is no big deal. But uh, using this approach, going through a 100 ohm resistor here, I could generate uh, 0 to 120 milliamps going to the collector of the uh, transistor under test. Similarly, I've got the uh, the other DAC coming out to generate 0 to 12 volts going to 15K uh, a resistor, and that's generating 0 to 800 uh, microamps of current, which is then feed, feeding the base of the uh, of the uh, transistor. So what I've also got is I've got various lines here connected to ADCs which um, is going to be putting out 12 volts so I need to put a voltage divider and I'm using a pot here to take that 12 volts, maximum 12 volts and bringing it down to 0 to 3.3 volts because uh, the blue pill is a 3.3 volt device and feeding the ADC anything over 3.3 volts will damage the ADC. Similarly, I've got uh, probes ADC connected here and here. And the rationale for that is I can measure the voltage going in, the voltage at uh, the other end of this resistor, and I can measure the current going to the collector. Same thing for the base. I can measure the voltage at uh, the input to the resistor and the voltage at the output of the resistor and I can determine what's the current going through uh, the uh, resistor and hence the current going to the base. So that's basically how this works is I'm just uh, generating uh, various currents and I'm feeding that into the base collector and I'm measuring those currents and I'm generating a plot and uh, putting that into Excel.